uh, would have seen the deaths that have taken place in May alone. Uh, a couple of hundred people died in uh, Trinidad and Tobago as a result of um, COVID within the last 30 days. So COVID is menacing and um, we, has, we have to respect um, COVID as a very menacing disease and, con and discontinue the type of complacency within the society and to move quickly to restore normalcy. Now, one of the things I want to flag here too is that if we don't move to restore normalcy as soon as possible, we may be forced into normalcy. Hmm. And I say that in the context of a recent decision by Royal Caribbean, in which um, they have now decided to uh, proceed to set sail to the Caribbean without making it mandatory for individuals to be fully vaccinated. And that is because of um, legislation that was passed in Florida, in which um, it is an offense for them to ask people if they're fully vaccinated. So those ships, when they come to the Caribbean, and let's face it, we need them. There are many vendors out there who have not earned a dollar for the last 14, 15 months. And there's no way that we can sustain that situation. So when they come to the Caribbean and our people are vulnerable, they're not vaccinated, then we're running the risk of seeing an increase in the amount of um, COVID cases and at the same time an increase in hospitalizations and deaths. So let us anticipate that Look, the world is opening up and you don't want to have them open up on us and we are vulnerable. It means, therefore, that we have an obligation, all of us, to get vaccinated to not only protect ourselves, protect our loved ones and protect the entire society. Uh, so we got to watch these spaces and to understand that, look, keeping the country um, under certain uh, restrictions, uh, many of them will not be able to sustain for a long period of time. We have to reopen the country fully at some point and to relax a number of those um, those uh, those restrictions and, and protocols, but at the same time, the protocols are there to protect. So get vaccinated and protect yourself. I mean, make sure that you are invulnerable if uh, there's any such thing as being invulnerable against um, COVID, perhaps not, but uh, point I'm making here uh, to do the opposite of being vulnerable by not getting vaccinated.